Despite the hulls of protests, criticisms and warnings, the Sri Lankan government approved its new internet law on Wednesday. The online safety bill sets up a commission which can jail people for up to five years for content it decides is illegal. Protesters outside parliament said it's an attempt by President Vikramasinghe to silence his critics. No matter what laws are brought against people's rights, whatever repression is ruled out, even if people are dragged to jail one by one and the police are deployed, we can't be put down. You can't stop the people from coming forward. The bill bans what would be deemed as false statements that threaten national security, health, public order or provoke riots and religious divisions. It also prevents false reports causing mutiny of the military and alarm or fear to the public. The government has said a crackdown on online abuse of women and children and pornography are a key factor of the new laws. The Supreme Court received 46 petitions against the bill and ruled that more than half its clauses needed to be changed. The government agreed. I will present all new proposals at the next cabinet meeting. After that, they will be announced. I don't think anyone will challenge those proposals in the Supreme Court because all parties have agreed to those proposals. We will bring them as amendments to this act on a future date. Local and international rights groups have condemned the bill. The UN asked for significant revisions, saying it can be used to suppress dissenting voices. Think about the damage that you're causing in your petty interests, in your petty if efforts to maintain power at any cost. Think of the damage you're doing to this country. Think of the international, the damage, the, in, the reputation of this country internationally. Think of the damage you're doing to potential investors. The Asia Internet Coalition, which includes tech giants like Google, Apple and Meta, said the bill is unworkable and would undermine potential growth and foreign investment in Sri Lanka's digital economy. While the government insists the legislation is needed to protect communities and individuals, many say the online safety bill will be a weapon, not a shield, in government hands. Nina Fernandez, Al Jazeera, Colombo. Make sure to subscribe to our channel to get the latest news from Al Jazeera.